Wine Debbie Melly is being accused by another inmate of smuggling narcotics into the Broward County Jail. This inmate also says that Melly was selling it to other inmates in the jail. In jail call transcripts between Cortland Henry and Terrence Mathis show Mathis talking too much and Cortland telling him to shut up. Yeah, jury selection resumes on Monday, but I found this arrest report of Terrence Mathis, one of the inmates, and it has these details that just blow my mind. I'm just baffled at how dumb of decision making Melly could be doing if this is true. But here we go. Hey, subscribe. Let's get it. All right, so here's when Terrence Mathis got booked in Broward County. He was already in jail, obviously, for a while, but this is just a new charge. And it starts talking about what happened with the witness tampering right here with Jamel. Detective Garrett Steele was assigned to this investigation regarding witness tampering in September of 2023. So only a month ago. September of 2023. Detective Danny Polo, the guy with the mask, became involved in the criminal case regarding Jamel Demons in February of 2022 when contacted to review documentation to determine whether or not Demons was a criminal gang member. Separately, Detective Danny Polo had previously conducted an investigation to James Howard. James Howard is currently incarcerated at the Broward County Main Jail and has been in custody since October 28th, 2020. Conspiracy to commit racketeering. Detective Polo periodically monitors the jail calls of James Howard. There's two inmates involved, Terrence Mathis and this James Howard guy who's in there for uh, some Rico. This detective listens to his jail calls. Each inmate has a signed particular number and pin code to access the recorded and monitored uh, jail phone system. Jamel Demons does not have phone privileges due to disciplinary actions while in custody. So he hasn't had any phone privileges, I think, sent for years, since like 2019. Like when he first got arrested, it got taken away from him pretty quickly for doing something. Polo, while monitoring the calls of James Howard, heard discussions about Howard communicating with Mr. Demons and passing messages. These phone conversations then led to Polo requesting in August of 2023 Broward County Sheriff's Office Detention Communication Supervisor to provide any and all call details from James Howard for the previous 12 months as well as outgoing calls. Known girlfriend of Jamel Demons prior to his phone privileges being suspended there were hundreds of calls to this individual. Um, there were calls to a Travis Melly's manager, okay, and Cortland Henry. Terrence Mathis made more than 60 phone calls to Cortland Henry between March of 2023 and August. 60 phone calls. It's like two or three a week, right? Mathis is currently awaiting trial for first degree murder. That's great. Demons developed a sophisticated system to communicate with individuals. Oh, wow. We So we got the camera stuff. So camera unit 5C unit 2, August 21st, 2023, starting at 5.11 p.m. ending at 5.30. Demons is speaking to an inmate from cell 5C that was in the day room for his time out. During the conversation, you can notice Demons motions towards the adjacent unit, which is unit 5C3. The inmate who he was speaking to then points towards the same unit to confirm what Demons was referring to. Demons tosses what appears to be a note letter under his unsigned cell door. Same inmate grabs what appears to be a note from the cell door. Same inmate tosses appear to be multiple notes letters under the door that leads into unit 5C3 day room. Demons appears to be instructing the inmate from cell 5C210 to call for someone adjacent. Inmate from 5C picks up a note and is seen speaking to Demons about it. Demons instruct him to toss it back to the adjacent 5C. Appears that it was one of his notes. Jesus, so like it happens in fucking high school classes or passed around notes. Or at least only in movies. That doesn't really happen anymore. <laughs> More talk about notes being passed around and kicked around right here at the top. And then Howard comes in the camera. View reading a letter and walks towards the telephone to read the letter. Howard attempts to make a phone call. Howard pulls out notes to his left chest pocket. Seen on the phone ends the call. So what they're implying is that James Howard got a note from Melly and called someone on the phone and said what was on the note. Broward County Sheriff's Office deputies searched the cell of Terrence Mathis. The following phone books were recovered. They also further demonstrate individuals were using code words and false names to prevent law enforcement from uncovering the scheme. They had Bortland in there. Okay. Terrence Mathis placed a phone call with Cortland Henry. So this is a phone call with Cortland Henry right here. Tell you blank. Make sure she hood. Oh, Mariah or whatever. Tell her keep vibing in the Maybach like she been doing. Don't pop out this shit. Almost over with. I heard she supposed to be pulling probably Probably cap though, but tell her. Cortland Henry says, man, no man, tell him, man, shut the fuck up. Tell him to stop talking about that. Mathis, tell her to fall back. I ain't put this wild ass shit. Fall back. Henry, man, I ain't talking no more about that. Move on to the next one. Mathis, hold on. I got to read the whole card. I <laughs> I don't know what to tell her. Keep doing what she's doing. Tell her I love her and I miss her so much. I'm going to eat her like some ice cream when I touch down. Melly did not write out that he's going to eat her like some ice cream and had his boys relay it to her on the outside while Cortland Henry's basically telling the guy to shut the f***.
back up and stop talking because Cortland knows it was probably recorded. What a disaster. But it's kind of funny that Melly wrote that. <laughs> During this call, Mathis is trying to give directions to Cortland Henry about keeping Mariah away from court. Henry is obviously uncomfortable and does not want those directions being given over the recorded call. Henry already knows his job of keeping her away and, and there's no reason to continue talking about it. Mr. Demons and Assistant State Attorney Christine Bradley exchange emails about scheduling a deposition. During the course of the conversations, Mr. Henry tells the in custody messages to slow down and at times they have to repeat the messages and they describe specific emoji characters or even spell certain words in a particular way. Melly calls her ASAP Rocky's baby mama. <laughs> Um, okay. The conversation begins with a message directed to the defendant's mother to tell her not to cooperate with law enforcement in regards to some supposed threats that she reported to counsel. Phone calls indicate that Henry is using an electronic means to communicate, such as another mobile device, tablet, or computer from within his apartment. So throughout the whole trial. Okay. Yeah, we already knew that. Mathis. So what he wants you to do. Cortland, when I ask him if I find out how many bottles it takes for the sheet. Mathis, I got that part. I talking about, I'm talking about the, his money ain't come. Henry, just tell him it ain't come on the 15th. I get supposed to just waiting on it. I ain't getting that far. All right. That's it. Henry, make sure you tell him that shit's $300 a pop, the bottles. Okay. So this is where they start talking about drugs. Boys, here we go. Detective Steele and Detective Polo's experience working with investigations involving the introduction of contraband into jails and prisons. This conversation was immediately identified as the subjects conspiring and planning on how they would smuggle the narcotics into the Broad County Jail. A common method of introducing narcotics into the jail is by sending paper that has been soaked or sprayed with narcotics in liquid form. Jesus. So Cortland Henry and Mathis were apparently talking about how to get this liquid form of drugs into the jail. That's just amazing. Detective Russell and De Deputy Alvarez conducted an interview of a gang member being housed at Broward County Jail. The subject stated that Jamel Demons was controlling, facilitating the introduction and distribution of narcotics laced paper into the jail. The subject also stated that in the last two months, he had personally purchased narcotics laced paper from Jamel Demons. The subject stated that only inmates or Demons floor currently have access to the narcotic. The subject stated that the narcotics laced paper was introduced in the jail in the mail form of legal documents from attorneys. Yeah. That's the bombshell. Someone snitched in the jail saying that these legal documents from an attorney has laced narcotics on it. Holy shit. If this is true, how brain dead can you be? You're fighting for your life, Melly, and you're worried about drugs. I pray to God this is not true and this is someone just making this up, but what the are we doing here dude this is where they start talking about bloods right here for some reason admits to criminal gang association in august 2023 on multiple recorded calls Cortland and mathis admitted to his involvement in the bloods and said that there is only one person above him in the jail mathis also stated that jamel demons has nothing to worry about because mathis is vouching for him mathis also was involved in the electronic communications directing criminal gang members to enforce violations upon other bloods who were not in the good standing or had been kicked out Jesus. Henry discussed that bloods on the outside are politicking and discussing demons alleged cooperation with law enforcement. Alleged cooperation with law enforcement? What? Now, how exactly would that work? He's going to throw it all in Portland? And that's pretty much it. That's Terrence Mathis paperwork where it pretty much says that he got notes from Melly in jail and was talking to Cortland on the phone, keeping Mariah Hamilton quiet and also smuggling drugs into the jail if this is true terrible looking stupid decisions i don't even know what to say i'm baffled you know my channel subscribe from my twitter and instagram love you boys peace out